next we come to a concept called the volume percentage okay volume percentage volume percentage and we denoted by v upon v why because percentage you never know what you're talking about you'll not be always writing we are talking about mass percentage okay so when you say v upon v you find that we are talking about volume percentage you must have seen so many uh, syrups medicines they have this written okay so so the cough syrups they, you'll find they'll write write 60 percent ethanol v upon v okay yeah so it can contains a considerable amount of alcohol <clears throat> and that is the reason you feel sleepy the moment you take a cough syrup okay fine so so the volume percentage volume percentage is equal to the volume of the solute upon the volume of the solvent into 100 fine into 100 volume of the solution sorry volume of the solution so the so so the same kind of fundamentals will apply the same kind of fundamentals will apply fine hmm? no, not necessarily no, you never know because uh, when, when I'm talking about the syrup okay so they, they, they are quite different things there are so many other things it is a solution but not binary there are many other things also before prior to mixing prior to mixing they know no that's why they are specifying that's why they are specifying that i mix so and so so and so so and so ml of ml of Nee. Nee, nee. They, they, I am just telling you this is this is actually since, uh, since it is the, uh, the maxima that is normally written on the cup syrup right hand side then you go back to the composition they will tell you so so much V by V so much uh, W by W so many things are written now that you go scotch biscuits 8% alcohol hmm. so so it's specified there, there to that is a mandatory thing to specify right how much alcohol content is there okay now what happens many a times these when you mix them what should happen they should not react okay many times what happens maybe the volume is not the same okay volume is not the sum of the two volumes why because some of it might go into spaces in between fine so, so it's quite possible to be that so you have to measure the volume of the solution also so so if it so maybe if the density becomes um, becomes less then you'll have to the volume becomes less then you'll have to accordingly write cheered okay so that is the the volume by volume <coughs> okay and yeah this this happens a lot outside okay <coughs> um, we use a 35 percent 35 percent ethylene glycol glycol with with petrol with gasoline as an antifreeze as an antifreeze to prevent freezing 
so so what happens we are not we are not exposed to such vagaries of nature but say you are st staying in a place where where the where the temperature is say minus 30 degrees centigrade then even the petrol in your car will become solid okay and now you understand the hassle so this is actually mixed with petrol and diesel so that it takes your your freezing point to to below those levels right so that it's still liquid fine you can very well understand what what the trouble will be and there will be not a single day for months together where the temperature will go above say say minus 30 degrees centigrade so once frozen it is frozen fine and and why it is so bothersome suppose you are able to maybe put some something below your petrol tank and you are able to melt it then it is not only there that it is molten it's molten everywhere okay the pipe and everywhere so you have to melt everything not possible you understand it is simply not possible so so the challenges that you have in those cold countries are absolutely absolutely different so i think about minus 10 or something it drops hmm your before your blood freezes the fellow will be gone due to cold stroke Huh? No, no. Even before that, things will start becoming more sluggish because. Minus 30 will less. No, no, no. Minus 30. If you are exposed, you are gone. So that's why the clothing that you have to wear in Western countries that has to be according to the temperature, and you cannot even go and check what the temperature is. You understand? You'll get a stroke. Fine. So, so you you just cannot even do that. So, so there are weather forecasting and and thermometers. So you you have to check the thermometer. You have to check the forecast. You are going out for seven hours. So what will what will be the weather like in the evening? And and that's how accordingly you have to dress. Maybe right now the temperature is minus ten. While you are coming back, it becomes minus thirty. The jackets which are working at minus ten will be an utter failure at minus thirty. Fine. So so is there is every possibility that the person will die every possibility i'm telling you okay though their spaces are warmed and uh, so you'll not even feel that it's a lot of heat what is the minimum uh, a lot of cold minimum recorded i think in antarctica minus 100 minus 90 minus 100 yes there what happens uh, this the the vapor the water vapor from your nose actually that freezes hmm? in the nose here around so mm -hmm, they go so it has to be covered and oh, I, I was reading a, a memoir by someone who he, he said he took off his gloves to write uh, something because his gloves were obstructing and and one of his fingers were was kind of gone before he could realize hmm? It had to be cut.